Man, I can't wait to get that car. What do you think? Another 10, 11 months? Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back. Um, one thing I'd like to mention, really important, you're looking at getting one of these C8s, make sure, whatever you can do, if you can see one in person, I'm talking about the color, the exterior color of the car. If at all possible, find one nearby, even if you got to drive a little ways. We took a look, took us an hour and a half on a drive just to see one particular color. It's so important to see it indoors and also outside in various lighting conditions. Sunshine, cloudy. There's so many metallics in these colors, like the Elkhart Lake Blue or the Red Mist or I guess Caffeine Brown. You've got to see what it looks like in the sunlight and sort of walk around the car, see all the angles, see how the sun reflects off of those angles and what kind of colors you see. Um, I guess like the Rapid Blue, I've seen that one in person. That's more of a flat color, doesn't really have the metallic in it. And the Accelerate Yellow doesn't have very much metallic in it either. I wasn't convinced on the Accelerate Yellow before I saw it in person. You see it from so many different camera angles, so many different kinds of cameras, iPhones, whatever, taking pictures of these cars. I was particularly interested in the Accelerate Yellow. And guys were picking up shades of green. They would even see it in their eyes, not, not just the cameras. So I said to my wife, we've got to find one in person so we can see it ourselves. Luckily, a local dealer did have one. It came in. It was already sold to a customer, but we ran out to take a look at the car. It was in the service bay, and I'll tell you, I mean, I didn't get to see it outside at that point, but indoors, which my car, once it comes, will be spending the majority of its time probably indoors, especially here in western New York winters, Six solid months, I guarantee it's going to be indoors. And when I saw the color, I said, this is just right. It's not pale. It's, I don't see the green. It wasn't as, it's not as dark as the yellow on our SSR, but it was a very nice yellow. So what I'm saying is, if at all possible, if you're interested in a color, make sure you see it in person. So I wanted to talk a couple of minutes about some of the options I was thinking about getting for the car. Um, number one was the wheels. I decided on a... Hang on a second. I can't remember everything, but... Um, the Q99 wheel. That wheel is about $2,000. Um, it's gray with a machine face. And it's supposed to be forged aluminum. Like I say, that's two grand. So I was thinking about that wheel. I would, was also thinking about the Q91 wheel, which is also forged aluminum, but it's in gloss black. I mean, I think the gloss black, the black would look good with the yellow. And that was 995, just under a thousand bucks. You know, it, it confused me because the year before, the Trident wheels, they had a five-spoke black Trident wheel. It was aluminum. They didn't say if it was forged or not, so I really don't know. It was $3,000. So now they have a forged gloss black Q91 wheel for $9.95. So I don't understand the price. I get, uh, I guess if you want black, it's better for you to have a 23 than it would have been for the previous couple of years with the cost of those Trident wheels. And the other one is they still offer the Q8Q, which is a 
carbon flash painted aluminum wheel with a machine edge. That's $9.95. Again, um, it says aluminum, doesn't really say forged. So for $9.95, you might as well get the Q91 wheel, which is forged aluminum, gloss black, which I like better on the wheel. And it's the same price, which it's kind of confusing how they're arriving at these numbers. But anyhow, I was thinking more along the lines of the Q99 with the machine face. And it would be, I would have preferred it if the inside was black and the spokes were black with the machine face instead of gray. I debated the black wheels because I do like gloss black. But every time I see a car on the road, the black doesn't really show up for me. I, that machine face, you can see the rotation, you see it moving. It just is more, um, I would guess, animated. I guess you would say that wheel was. So I've decided to go with the uh, Stingray R appearance package. I thought it would go kind of good with the yellow hood. That type of a stinger. Um, I'm not set on the Stingray R lettering that would go on the side of the doors. If you got these rocker extensions that had the wing on the back, then the Stingray R would go on that wing, and that looks kind of nice. So I, I'm kind of thinking you could probably request um, to have the lettering separate that you would take control of and do what you want with. And then speaking of those uh, rocker extensions, kind of took a look at that. I kind of like to have the rocker extension and maybe the front splitter. Nice appearance. But it appears that it's just like a plastic that it's not even painted. So I would prefer to have carbon flash painted splitter and rocker extensions. And I'm thinking of going the full length from the front fender to the rear fender as far as the rocker extension. I think it would provide that protection that you might like as far as little stones, pebbles, debris kicking up from the car instead of getting on the paint it would get on the underside of those rockers and kind of protect the body. And the same thing goes with the splash guards. I want to have splash guards on the car. I want a little bit of an extension past that wheel. And again, factory order, I think it's just a plain plastic black, kind of just a flat mat, whatever. And I'm thinking there's a lot of aftermarkets that I've seen now that they have those in carbon flesh, which I think that would look nice. So I'm thinking splitter in carbon flesh, splash guards, and the rocker extensions in carbon flash paint, which would be all aftermarket. I'm not sure yet whether I want the wings on that full uh, extension from fender to fender, or do I want to eliminate the wing? You can go either way. That's an option, too, when you're looking at these products from the aftermarket. And the same thing with the front splitter. You have an aggressive splitter that has to, also has those little canards or a little bit of a wing effect on the front. I'm not sure I want that either, but you know, I got plenty of time to think about all that stuff since I'm going to be waiting the better part of a year to get this car. And the last thing I want to mention is I don't think I'll be getting a spoiler. Um, I've looked at pictures, I've looked at cars out in the field, out at the dealers that have the spoilers or don't have the spoilers and the different kinds of spoilers you can get and I'm a short guy to begin with I certainly don't want the high wing if I'm using that trunk I want to be able to reach over <laughs> without that spoiler getting in my way plus for my uh, application I would guess you would say I'm not tracking the car I kind of like the clean look without the spoiler. So I think I'm going to go that way. I'm still going to do the appearance with the front splitter. I like that look, but I'm not crazy or I 
it's not for me uh, to put a rear spoiler on. So I think I'm going to opt out of the spoiler. Uh, I, I talked to the dealer when I first went to see him, and he said the majority of the cars have spoilers. you got to get a spoiler. Well, he also told me the majority of the guys order Z51s, and I'm not getting that either. So don't try to get pushed into anything when you're talking to these guys. So what did you think of the uh, thumbnail? Did you see what I was driving at? The taillights? Taillights of the C8 and then looks like there's a mod that could be coming out for round taillights and I was just wondering what you guys thought of that picture. I guess it was an article came out uh, Muscle Cars and Trucks back in December um, and it spoke about, I think it was Competition Carbon that was developing these round tail lights as a modification for the C8. I kind of like them. I mean, a couple of pictures that I saw from that article, I thought it looked pretty sharp. I don't know what it would take to install these or how much they're going to cost, but I thought they looked pretty sharp. I was just wondering what you guys thought too. So to keep these videos short, I'm going to end it here so you don't get too bored. But uh, I'm going to keep you updated in future videos on how my transaction is going with the dealership and any other problems or issues or things that come up. And please, comment on your own car. If you've got a car on order, I'd be so interested to, to know what colors you're, you're choosing and the options you're choosing. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to hear other people's uh, build, I guess. So, um, I'll talk to you soon.